Hey, what's going on? Meteorologist Mike Linden here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize your experience for severe weather alerts in the My Radar app and how to customize your notifications for severe weather as well. So first things first, let's talk about your notifications. In the gear icon there on the settings menu, let's tap on that and we'll go into notification settings. Within the notifications menu, you can completely customize all of the alerts coming to you. You can simply turn it right at the top, the master switch, all or none. We'll turn them on here. You can also pick a period of time to not disturb you. But I would recommend, of course, if there is severe weather coming your way to make sure that this is turned off. That way you can be notified at night if there is something coming your way. Within the notifications menu, let's tap on rain alerts. This is an awesome feature in the my radar app that will let you know whether or not it is going to be raining near where you live and when it will be raining as well notice i have it toggled on for light this will show you light moderate and heavy rain so i've cut out drizzle in this particular sense we're here in florida it's raining fairly often but if you want to know how much rain is heading your way you can totally customize the rain alert feature here and then everything else, you have lightning alerts, significant earthquakes, wildfire hotspots, live streams and videos from the My Radar Meteorology team, as well as all of the National Weather Service alerts, outlooks, and even road weather alerts as well, and see BOM weather alerts. If you are one of our Australian users, you can also get push notifications from the Bureau of Meteorology through the My Radar app as well. So you can completely customize your notification experience right here in the app. But now let's jump back to the map itself. Let's say you want to track particular weather alerts where you live. This is done in the layers menu. Looks like the stack of cards on the toolbar. For that, we'll tap on it and go to weather alerts. First, let's turn it on there, but let's go into the weather alerts menu. And this looks kind of similar to the notifications, uh, notifications settings menu. And within this, you have your watches and warnings opacity, which toggles the transparency fill shape. So if you just wanna see the lines outlining the watches and warnings, you can do that. Or of course you can fill in the colors. I'll show you the difference in a moment. And of course we have the National Weather Service and the Bureau of Meteorology as well. In order to completely customize what your map looks like, you can tap on those menus and go into it this way. In this particular instance, I've got severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings turned on. But if you want to see watches as well, all you have to do is toggle those on. Again, you can completely customize your experience. Here in the flooding coastal, again, a lot of options here. So maybe you don't want all of those watches, warnings, and advisory, advisories turned on. So again, you can completely customize what your map looks like. I'll turn on flash flood watch for right now. And notice I have fill shapes turned in. So that is showing us here in Texas today, ex an excessive heat warning. You can tap on those watches or warnings and get a full discussion from the National Weather Service for more information and for the areas affected. For this particular example, we'll turn off fill shapes and notice you can just see the lines there, uh, the colored lines that is showing you what kind of watch or warning or advisory it is. You can still tap on it to get more information. But again, if you are looking for that filled in kind of effect, all you have to do again is to go into the alerts menu, turn on fill shapes, and you are good to go. So that is how you completely customize the map for your weather alerts and how you customize your notifications as well. I can tell you what, those rain notifications have gotten me out of a jam many times before maybe I was thinking about going on a walk with my dogs or going out to the beach. I've had those rain notifications turned on and to know the perfect time to go outside and to avoid getting completely soaked. So it's helped me. Of course, the lightning alerts are really, really helpful as well to let you know whether there has been a lightning strike near your location and to prompt you to get inside. And of course, if there is severe, significant weather, make sure that within the notifications menu that you have the video alerts turned on as well. That way you can be alerted to that severe significant weather and see an update from the My Radar Meteorology team. So that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.